Dear students, our today's topic is about glycogenolysis and this is also come under the category of the glycogen metabolism. So uh, in the previous lecture we have discussed the glycogenesis process which we have said that it is a four step process. Now glycogenolysis is the enzymatic breakdown of the stored form of the uh, glycogen which is present in our liver and in our muscles. And uh, here we didn't talk about the uh, dietary uh, glycogen breakdown. Instead, we will talk about the genetic breakdown of the glycogen which is present in the store form in our liver and muscles. Uh, so the process of the glycogen degradation takes place in two uh, process. One is the glucose removal from a non-reducing end of the uh, glycogen. So uh, we know that glycogen is consist of the linear and branch chain structure so the enzyme which will break down or degrade the glucose from the glycogen is glycogen phosphorylase which will use the inorganic phosphate uh, to cleave that alpha 1 4 from the outer branch of the glycogen so that will give you glucose 1 phosphate so it will directly lead to glucose 1 phosphate and uh, from there it will be converted into glucose 6 phosphate and then to glycolysis uh, process uh, if the body need the um, uh, atp in the muscles otherwise it will be converted into uh, glucose production through isomerase enzyme glycogen phosphorylase stops when it comes within four glucose residue of the branch point so the function of the gly glycogen phosphorylase is to degrade the alpha 1 4 linkage Whenever it will reach to the alpha 1 6 point, which is the branch point, the glycogen, it will stop its function. So a glycogen molecule that has been degraded to its branch point is called a limit dextrin. So that molecule which has been broken down to the point of the glucose uh, to the uh, branch point that is alpha 1 6 linkage that uh, is termed as limit dextrin. So this, this diagram will give you the uh, exact uh, view of this uh, structure and this process and uh, this is the linear structure of the uh, glycogen and this is where from where alpha 1 4 branch is originated so glycogen phosphorylase with the help of inorganic phosphate basically break down these uh, uh, these glucose unit from it and convert it into glucose 1 phosphate from uh, uh, by breaking down that alpha 1 4 linkage but as soon when the that branch point reach that glucogen phosphorylase is uh, it is difficult for it to break down that branch point so uh, for that purposes that will be uh, further will be acted upon by the debranching enzyme which is known as transferases the function of these debranching enzymes is that it will break down or reshuffle these molecules of the branch point, the three molecules, and it will attach it, it will transfer it to the non-reducing end part of the uh, glucose glycogen. And, and then it will, uh, in, another, in another step, it will be hydrolyzed that alpha 1, 4 linkage, which is present over here, will be hydrolyzed by um, in other enzymes uh, so that is almylo alpha 1 6 glucosidase which is also known as a debranching enzyme so that debranching enzyme will first uh, transfer the outer three of the four glucose redis, residues attached to the branch point to nearby non-reducing end so first it will transfer these molecules to the non-reducing end over here and then it will work on this uh, molecule and it will break it so the enzyme which is involved is amylo alpha 1 6 glucosidase so what will it, uh, it do that it then removes the single glucose residue attached at each branch point so the product of this later reaction is free glucose so this single molecule which is giving you the branch point will be uh, broken down and then it will that will give you a free glucose so the fate of glucose 6 phosphate depend on the tissue so that is the debranching enzyme which will act on 
which has that glucosidase alpha 16 glucosidase activity here it will show the glucosidase activity and uh, release the free glucose and now it go either way and will be converted to glucose 6 phosphate and uh, this is now the linear structure it will be further again acted by the phosphorylase enzyme with the help of inorganic phosphate will be converted into glucose 1 phosphate and with the help of that isomerase a gluco phosphoglucose uh, mutase enzyme it will be converted to glucose 6 phosphate which can either go to glycolysis or if there is a need of uh, um, glucose in blood and then it will be converted into glucose with the help of glucose 6 phosphate phosphatase so uh, degradation of the glycogen takes place in two situation if the muscles need atp then that glucose 6 phosphate which come from the degradation of the glycogen will be lead to the glycolysis process and it will give you atp while in liver liver will lead it into the gluconeogenesis process means that uh, it will convert that glucose 6 phosphate into glucose and it will release it into the blood because blood is in a hypoglycemic condition so this was all about the glycogenolysis process see you in our next lecture